ultimate goal is to end up uh, being a CEO or uh, administrator of my own healthcare facility. I could probably get a little more involved with trying to clean up some of the environmental concerns that face civilization today. I would like to start my own business and um, use myself as a consultant um, on a national basis in the healthcare industry. Welcome to part two of our From Dream to Reality series. Today we will look at restating our dream as a formal goal. Why have a goal and what do we mean by a formal goal? Well, some of the more important reasons are the following. To help clarify the dream, make it clear to yourself what you want. Make sure the goal is something you are really excited about, something that is worthwhile achieving. Your goal will provide you with focus and direction. To help overcome negative conditioning by forcing you to focus and concentrate on positive, achievement-oriented activities. To help stay focused on success and positive outcomes. To help make better decisions because you have a planned approach and better view of where you are heading. To help bring out the best in you by helping you discover your untapped potential and your own personal uniqueness to track progress over time so you know where you are, if you're on schedule, and how close you are to goal achievement. To get started, it is important to state the goal properly. In general, it should be your goal, it should be written, and it should be in balance with other goals in your life. It should clearly state what you want to achieve. Next. Make sure it is stated as a SMART goal. Think of SMART as an acronym. It should be S, specific, M, measurable, A, attainable or actionable, R, realistically high to stretch us to use more of our potential and take us out of our comfort zone, T, time stamp for completion. An example of a hazy goal would be to lose some weight. An example of a SMART goal would be to lose 10 pounds in the next two months by exercising at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week. In summary, if we want a dream to become reality, we need to first convert that dream to a specific written goal. In part three of our series, we will test whether our goal is truly significant and worth spending our time and energy pursuing it.